Yo, it's Destructo. Coming at you guys raw. What's up, crew? I'm, I'm excited. I wanted to wait for the last three birthday presents to come in, but it ain't happening. My impulse control, pff, out the window. Why, you say? Donna. Donna. Donna, Donna, Donna. Oh, warrior review time. That's right. I got to get this done. Why? Because I want you guys to see what this looks like when you get it out of the box. Sans one thing. Two things. There was a sticker on here. I took that off. It looked ugly. And, uh, there's also, uh, missing one screw. I'll tell you about that in a minute. What we do, <clears throat> be honest with me, guys. Do I look manlier? I think my beard's coming in faster. Shaved this morning. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, let's get it done. I know. You can come here for a professional view. Come here to get to get the thoughts and opinions of this guy. Let's get it done. The uh, metal of the war hammer is 5150 steel. The face is one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Uh, the overall length from pick tip the face is seven and three eighths inches. And uh, the 5150 steel is heat treated differently uh, from the face and tip of the spike and face of the of the hammer versus the rest of the body. Uh, the face and the face of the hammer, which is very, very beautifully polished, I am going to mess that up. Uh, and the tip are heat treated uh, very, very hard. But the rest of the body is softer and uh, that is for on a molecular level to help with um, impact shock absorption. We already know what happens when there's a, a high rock well uh, throughout the, the, the steel uh, and it impacts something even a plastic bottle with threads on it. Take a look at the Sogfari Cold Seal did the job on this, right. The head is mated with a American Hickory Hardwood 30 inch straight grain, look at that, handle. Which is nice and smooth, uh, which you don't want when you choke up slide your hand down bang uh, you don't want to catch any splinters or you know, burn some blisters in your hands right oh yeah uh, to the hard wood there is seven little tiny and that's right some assemblies required little screws or seven of them for each side for the langlets l-a-n-g E-T-S, one word, Lang Langits, I'm not a linguist, sorry guys, uh, and connect them through to, con to protect the hickory handle uh, from edge weapon strikes. Destructo will not be testing that theory out. Hopefully. Uh, awesome. Uh, now, 
you guys come here for an opinion of my initial review of this Warhammer is blazingly awesome I know this that you know you, you know how excited I am about this there there is uh, one thing I dislike well there's one thing that I'm worried about then we'll do the one thing I dislike the bad finger right and then we'll give this one on a uh, uh, a a cool thing right we'll just leave it at that at least I think so get the bad thing out of the way first cuz I ain't flipping you guys off uh, I know we have to save a little money right But I really wish that said USA on it. Wouldn't even mind spending a little more. That's right, no hands. But seriously, uh, Taiwan, I wish it said USA. That's negative. Uh, one concern, that's this one. Concern, although this is a very awesome smooth handle, because uh, you crew, you know, out there, you know, uh, Destructo's lower extremities are kind of foobar, right? Well, uh, I mean, I'm going to swing this thing with everything I got, but because I'm not going to be able to get my hips really involved, and, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing mostly upper body swings with this, uh, I'm going to sweat. And I'm going to get fatigued a little faster than if I was swinging it uh, traditionally how you're supposed to. Throwing your hips involved and coming down using your lats and uh, the rest of your, you know, your core strength. Um, so I'm going to sweat. I'm worried about my uh, base hand being impacted off uh, once it gets sweaty. Uh, I've deduced a possible fix for that. I thought at first of drilling a uh, hole for a lanyard, uh, getting my buddy Hawk Reno over at Combat Paracord, the uh, you know mad scientist, an idea for me. But instead, I've uh, if after the the initial test, if it's not a problem, I'm probably going to leave it as is. Uh, but if it is, I'm probably going to take uh, the bottom probably nine ten inches of that that shaft and uh, tape it up like a hockey stick. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get a good friend of mine who is an avid street hockey player uh, to do it well for me. Yeah, I can watch YouTube and I could you know make a monkey out of it. And, uh, you know, but I'm going to. I'm going to have someone else do it right for me and make a ball at the end so that I, I, I'm going to choke up and lose a little bit, but it's going to keep my hand in there uh, nice and tight. Um, I said there was three things. This is a, un, uh, this is a, a benefit. Uh, mayhem and destruction, right? Yeah, well, the big guy rotator cuffs aren't as good as they used to be ever since the big accident. That's right, I pop every time I roll my shoulder. Well, get an itch. Take the awesome Warhammer. Get those itches that just can't be reached. <laughs> Guys, Sustracto, I appreciate your time. Appreciate your view. Hey, I know I don't say it, you know, on video often, but you guys, really, any questions, any suggestions, they're always respected and welcome at the channel. Have at it. Hey, Sustracto, saying, you guys make me smile on the inside. Out!